On this edition of City Focus, the South Georgia community honors Moody Air Force Base with a kickoff to I Love Moody Week. The City of Valdosta and KLVB host two important cleanup days in the month of April. The Traffic Division talks about changes to traffic lights and intersections to improve travel throughout the city. And Police Chief Brian Childress tells us why the Police Department is involved in hosting a job fair. These stories and more on this edition of City Focus. Welcome to City Focus. I'm Marcus McConico, the media coordinator for the City of Valdosta. This is the sixth episode of City Focus in 2018. City Focus is your source for what's happening within your government. These are the most important topics that are happening in the city. At the opening ceremony of I Love Moody Week, the Valdosta community was also named a Great American Defense Community by USAA. It's absolutely our honor and privilege to be here as USAA. Uh, as you know, we support military communities throughout the country and to be the major sponsor to come to South Georgia and Moody Air Force Base is just a thrill and we know how much it means to serve and we know that these communities give back and support our military men and women. Couldn't be a better fit. One important thing that citizens can do is support our local military families. It all starts with the families and supporting the families because really when members go on deployment, that is the number one aspect that I think that is the bedrock of a community coming together to support our military so they can support their mission and keep us all free. And Shockley believes other communities could follow the Valdosta area's lead in celebrating their military base. Oh, well, I think it should happen every year, to be honest with you. I think there should be a support the Moody Week or support the community and Moody Week actually together because it is a hand-in-hand -hand endeavor and we all are stronger when we're together. For more information, contact South Georgia Military Affairs Council at 229-247-8100, extension 228. April 2nd through 6th, the City of Valdosta will celebrate National Community Development Week to honor the ways that CDBG funds have benefited the community. Each year we celebrate National Community Development Week and this is a nationwide celebration with all of the communities that receive um, community development block grant funds through the federal government through HUD. So um, it's, a year, um, it's an event that we all plan for um, throughout the year. But this year for us, it's a little different. Um, we're not offering as many programs as we've done in the past because our funding is not as it has in the past. So we're trying to still accommodate and, and do things to promote and to show people what we do with our funding in the community, but we have scaled it back a little bit. So this year, like in all years, we do a proclamation to make sure that everyone knows exactly why we're celebrating this. Um, and the main reason is that we're really grateful for the funding that we do receive. The Neighborhood Development Division has plans throughout the week and it begins with a proclamation by the mayor on Monday, along with other events. We will be doing a ribbon cutting for one of our property projects that we've completed this year. It's at 508 York Street where we have done a complete reconstruction of a brand new home for a family and we will be celebrating that with the mayor and several of our, our uh, city staff and our administration there on Tuesday. On Wednesday we hope to offer another fair housing program um, and this will be focusing mainly on a lot of the renters in our community, giving them information about what is acceptable, what is not acceptable, and exactly how they can play a part in the fair, status of fair housing in our community. And then on Thursday, we're partnering with the Chamber of Commerce Seed Center, which we do on a quarterly basis throughout the year with our CDBG funding. And we are completing what we call a one day to start seminar for people who are looking to start a small business. 
And this uh, program is pretty unique because what will happen is you'll walk in the door at 830 in the morning with an idea, something you may want to do as a small business or something that you're looking seriously into doing as a small business. And by the time you walk out the door at 5 o'clock that afternoon, it's an all-day session, you will have the framework for your business plan and you will have a, a good idea of all the things that are kind of like the beginning steps that you need to do to start to pitch and present your business to banks, to marketing agents and things of that nature. So we're really looking forward to that presentation with the chamber and also with the um, SBDC from Valdosta State University. For more information, contact Neighborhood Development at 229-671-3617. The City of Valdosta's Traffic Division will soon make changes to improve traffic throughout the city. Pretty enormous is one intersection that we have studied for several years now. And we found out over the years the numbers have changed and the conditions have changed where we can make it better for all the citizens. So one of the changes that we're going to propose is on Bay Tree, we're going to eliminate the split phasing so we can release more lanes so the vehicles can start traveling together. We'll have the turn movements coming up operating together and the through movements coming up operating together. With the current configuration of the intersection, vehicles are having to sit and wait for an extended period of time when there's no cars coming in the opposite direction. That's causing them money, that's causing the consumption of fuel, and it's just wasting time in general for all the citizens. With the current configuration at Baytree and Norman Drive, there are times when traffic could be moving east and west, but the signals will not allow it. Now one thing that we're proposing for the westbound direction on Bay Tree, currently there's a dual left turn off of Bay Tree onto Norman Drive. We will eliminate one of those left turn lanes and condense it down to just one. Once we condense it down to just one left turn movement, that would allow us to eliminate that wait time for the eastbound direction. As I said earlier, they will get a left turn arrow to go ahead and make that turn. And once all those vehicles make that turn, we can release the eastbound traffic so we have four lanes of traffic that's moving at the same time instead of sitting there waiting. Once those vehicles move we can also cycle the signal around to the side street of Norman to where those vehicles can move along even sooner. The other changes will occur on Patterson Street but only on the weekends when there's less traffic. So we've identified that there's a lot of vehicles that's still waiting on off side streets that's using fuel because they're not moving. So we have identified two ways of trying to address that issue. One would be put off signals in what we call a free mode. Free mode would be when a vehicle pull up on side street, it would send a signal to the cabinet and the cabinet would go ahead and switch through the phases to go ahead and release that side street traffic. Once that traffic clears, that time will go back to main street and main street traffic will move. For more information, contact the traffic division at 229-259 3530. Testing. Why did the girl ask the mushroom to dance? Because he was a fun guy. The Valdosta Police Department is again partnering with South Georgia Coalition for Employment for a job fair to help local job seekers. On April 26th uh, of this year, at between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., we're having a job fair at the Rainwater Conference Center. But this is a great thing. Let me tell you why. Because uh, before we started this, the, the South Georgia Coalition for Employment, who sponsors the job fair, that everybody was doing their own thing, and so you, you'd have all these job fairs throughout the year, you'd have five businesses, ten businesses show up, very small job fairs. First year we did it, according to the Department of Labor, the most they ever had at one job fair was 15 businesses. We had over 30. Last year we had uh, 53 businesses show up. 
This year we've set, set a goal of 60 businesses. We're almost already there. Chief Childress says there are job opportunities in the area for people that are looking. Contrary to popular belief, there are a lot of jobs in South Georgia, North Florida. There's actually a company in town that pays between $15 and $20 an hour, a good salary, and they can't get anybody to apply. So there are opportunities for our citizens to get jobs here. So who are we, who, are, who, are the, who is this job fair targeted at or focused on? Anybody. But we're also, we're asking employers, hey, would you consider hiring a convicted felon? Because we say in this country that when you're coming out of jail and if you're a convicted felon, that you've served your debt to society. Well, if you've served your debt to society, then we should allow these folks to get jobs. The other thing is, is we're uh, focusing on uh, asking businesses, would you consider mentoring or doing job shadowing for, for uh, youth, juveniles? And the other thing we're asking is, during the summer, uh, to keep our youth occupied and to give them a, some money, would you consider hiring part-time uh, for part-time summer jobs? Would you consider hiring youth? And why is the Valdosta Police Department involved in a job fair? Well, because if you've got a job, the, the data shows that there's a high probability you're not going to be committing a crime. And from the police department standpoint, we look at uh, crime prevention as more than just driving around in a patrol car. Crime prevention is educating our community on how to make themselves safer. Crime prevention is, is, is finding folks jobs. That, my friend, is community policing. At the same time, what other benefit is there for the police department by kind of orchestrating or, or, or helping with this job fair? Look, we've always said that we want our community to consider police officers their friends and partners. So why, why, what better example can you think of than to have your law enforcement agency trying to help these different organizations come together with the Rainwater Conference Center and let's try to find our citizens and people coming out of jail and our youth jobs. For more information, contact the Valdosta Police Department or Human Resources. I understand. I know it's not your typical resume. Okay, well. But candidate. But I've been working double shifts just to pay for books. I've been raising my two little brothers. I'm determined, driven, motivated. Isn't that what you're looking for? Look beyond the resume and discover new ways to develop great talent at gradsoflife.org. See on page four that the projections need to be tornado next Thursday. Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. April will be a busy month for KLVB as they continue to keep our city and county clean. We've got a uh, lot of stuff coming up. The first is the electronics recycling event on Saturday, April the 7th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. And what that is is simply an electronics collection event. You don't, you don't even have to unload your vehicle. Go by Mathis Auditorium over at 2300 North Ashley Street. Within those hours from 9 until 1 on Saturday, April 7th, with any unwanted electronics and we'll have volunteers there on hand to even unload the stuff for you. You don't even have to get out of your car. Later in the month, they will host the Great American Cleanup in conjunction with the city's Bulk Trash Amnesty Day. April 21st is going to be our Great American Cleanup. It's going to be going on from 8.30 until noon that day. And it's going to be a lot of stuff going on that day. We, as Keep Lounge Von Oster Beautiful, we have the distinct pleasure of keeping Lambs County and Valdosta are both happy. So we have clean up, we'll have cleanup projects going on in both of those jurisdictions. They're still looking for volunteers for the Great American Cleanup. We're looking, currently looking for volunteers for that event, April 21st, the Great American Cleanup. To get involved, you can email me, Strickland at ValdostaCity.com. You can email my intern, Sage, at klvbintern at ValdostaCity.com, or you can call our office at 229-671-3698. 
You can also visit our Valdosta Main Street and VLPRA will host Outdoor Family Movie Night on April 21st on the lawn of historic Lowndes County Courthouse. Celebrate Earth Day and Georgia Cities Week downtown with a free showing of Finding Dory. We'll be showing Finding Dory for our Outdoor Family Movie Night, which is going to kick off Georgia Cities Week and Earth Day weekend, and it'll be on Saturday, April 21st. The movie will start at sunset, which I believe is going to be about 7.30, but you can come out as early as 6 and get your spot on the, on the ground. For more information, contact Valdosta Main Street. The City of Valdosta is teaming up with the Turner Center for the Arts for the 10th Annual People's Choice Photo Contest, sponsored this year by Coleman Talley. This year, there is $600 in cash awards for photos celebrating city life. A 10th annual opening reception will be held at the Turner Center for the Arts on June 11th from 5 to 7 p.m. You will get the chance to vote for your favorite photos from June 11th through July 11th. The winners will be chosen and announced at the reception on July 17th. Photos will be on display until July 25th. Entries may be submitted online, mailed, or hand-delivered to the Arts Center or the Valdosta City Public Information Office by Thursday, May 31st, 2018. The photos must be taken within Valdosta city limits. For more information, you can contact the Annette Howe Turner Center for the Arts at 229-247-2787 or the city's public information office at 229-259-3548. Valdosta Lowndes County Parks and Recreation Authority approved the installation of a public art project in Freedom Park. The project will be a monument that pays tribute to the military, designed by regional artist Marty Haythorn. The piece will include individual members of the military from our region and historic images dating back to the Revolutionary War. Members of the Valdosta Lowndes County community have an opportunity to help create the mosaic section of the public art project during the community workshops at the Turner Center for the Arts Annex building. Haythorn is seeking images of local active duty members of the military and veterans, as well as wartime scenes. The deadline for submission of images is March 10th. Photographs can be delivered to the Arts Center. For more information, contact Marty Haythorn at 229-221-3096 or Cheryl Oliver at the Turner Center for the Arts at 229-247-2787. The Valdosta Mayor and City Council held their Strategic Initiative Summit on March 16th and 17th. This year was exciting because we had two new council members, which is always exciting to have uh, new folks on board. Then you had myself being new um, as a city manager. Uh, so it was exciting and uh, our two new uh, uh, members did, did great. They, uh, they had brand new ideas they've brought into the, uh, into the fold. So it was always exciting to have, uh, have that new blood on staff. The annual planning event allows for the city's top officials to discuss issues, and they also set 10 goals for the fiscal year 2019. We have uh, two days or a day and a half actually of uninterrupted uh, dialogue with each other uh, to learn where the uh, you know the city want, what direction the city would like to move in. It's always interesting because we each account member gives five items they would like to discuss. While they may be different. The bottom line is always the best for what it, what, what's best for the city of Arasta. Uh, we did put together 10 great goals this year. Together they create these community focused goals to make Valdosta better. One of the bigger goals is developing a blight tax ordinance for the city of, of Arasta. And what this will do will take care of uh, blighted properties, properties that are unsafe, uninhabitably long that have been boarded up for years. We'll begin to clean our neighborhoods up that way because as you know we were that was one of our big goals this year all together is litter substandard housing blighty property most of our council members had that as an agenda item so that will be our biggest goal uh, for the year we've also have as you know SPLOS 8 will be coming up in 2020 so we'll begin developing our list of prof capital projects for uh, SPLOS 8 uh, will be a, a large goal for us. As always, we're going to do whatever we can do to support Moody Air Force Base and always keeping our Moody family here with us. To see all 10 goals, visit ValdostaCity.com. For more information, call City Hall at 229-259-3500.
Recently, 13 members of the Valdosta Fire Department received promotions at a promotional ceremony in front of their friends and family. We congratulate Captain Matt Davis, Lieutenants Charles Tatch, Isaac Harris, Wade Briggs, Tavares Sanders, Lloyd Cummings, Josh McBride, Jay Carter, Roger Chastain, Chad Eason, Caleb Clark, Blake Daltrey, and Nicholas Bishop. For more information, contact the Valdosta Fire Department. At the March Valdosta Youth Council meeting, the group learned a lot about water. First, they heard from Angela Bray from the Stormwater Division about the importance of trees and reducing runoff. Then they heard from Jason Barnes from the water treatment plant to discuss where our water comes from. The group then taste tested tap water versus bottled water. Use your tap water. If you don't like it, then maybe add some sweeteners or <laughs> taste thingies. Because the guy even said um, most of the bottled water that you're drinking is from a plant, so it's not really all you think. For more information on the Valdosta Youth Council, like their Facebook page. Lieutenant Justin Plyer from the Valdosta Fire Department was awarded the Public Safety Officer of the Year Award from Valdosta Elks Lodge. He was awarded for his various outstanding achievements during the year for helping a woman in a serious physical altercation in April of 2017. While attending a promotional assessment in Gainesville, Florida, Lieutenant Plyer was sitting at an intersection as he seen a male and female in a heated argument with the male throwing the female to the ground, punching her and threatening to end her life. He immediately jumped into action and stopped the fight, defending the woman. He then called 911. The man left and Lieutenant Plyer stayed with the female until authorities arrived. The United Nations declared March 22nd as World Water Day. The meaning behind this day is to bring awareness to water-related topics such as water supply, shortages, and sanitation problems. There's a different theme each year, and this year's theme is Nature for Water. Nature is one way to help solve the several ongoing water issues in our communities. Along with nature, planting trees is helpful to tame stormwater. This helps to increase the absorption rate of rainfall, reduce soil erosion, and many other benefits. For more information, please contact the Stormwater Division at 229-259. 3530. The City of Valdosta's Bulk Trash Amnesty Day is coming up soon. This event will take place on April 21st from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is an event that allows Valdosta residents to dump their residential bulk trash for free. Tires will be allowed without rims. Items that will not be accepted are yard waste, chemicals, electronics, and old paint. There is only one drop-off location this year at the Public Works Department lot located at 1015 Myrtle Street. Please bring your City of Adasa water bill with you to unload your trash. And what works best is that we have one location on our Public Works property and it runs so much more smoothly. It is an opportunity for you to start cleaning out those closets, those storage sheds, those backyards, and to get rid of all that extra bulk junk. Although uh, the city now has it where you can put some of these items out with your weekly garbage, um, this is a way for you to get rid of it all at one time with on a trailer or truck or however you want to do it. And you just bring it to us along with your residential water bill for you and you can come to our location and dump for free. For more information, contact the Neighborhood Development Division at 229-671-3617. Now let's take a look at what's taking place in the city in the coming weeks. Downtown Valdosta Easter Egg Hunt, 10 a.m. Located throughout various locations in downtown. March 26th, Greater Lounge Planning Commission meeting, 5.30, at the South Lounge Health District Administrative Office. March 27th, Lowndes County Board of Health meeting, 7.30, at Lowndes County Health Department. March 27th, Valdosta Lowndes County Conference Center and Tourism Authority meeting, 8 a.m. at the Conference Center. March 30th, City of Valdosta offices will be closed celebrating Good Friday. April 2nd through 6th, National Community Development Week. April 2nd, Valdosta Historic Preservation Commission meeting, 5.30 in the City Hall Annex Multipurpose Room. April 2nd, 
Government 101 Citizens Orientation Program, 5 p.m. in the Valdosta City Hall. April 3rd, Zoning Board of Appeals Meeting, 2.30 at the City Hall Annex Multipurpose Room. April 3rd, Valdosta City Council Work Session, 5.30 in Council Chambers. April 5th, Valdosta City Council Meeting, 5.30 in Council Chambers. April 6th, First Friday in Downtown Valdosta. April 7th, Spring Electronic Recycling Event, 9 a.m. at Mathis Auditorium. April 9th, Valdosta Tree Commission Meeting, 515 in the City Hall Annex Engineering Conference Room. April 9th, Valdosta Government 101 at 530. To stay informed of what's happening in the city, sign up for the weekly e-news blast at valdostacity.com slash public dash information or call Public Information Officer Samantha Matthews at 229-259-3548. Earlier in the show, we told you about two cleanup events in the month of April. The events are ways to keep the city clean and show pride in where you live. We encourage everyone to play their part in taking care of the city by not throwing trash out of your car or leaving trash in the back of your truck. Help everyone keep the city clean. This concludes another edition of City Focus. Be sure to visit our website, ValdostaCity.com. Like us on Facebook, Valdosta City Without Limits. Also like our Valdosta Youth Council page. Follow us on Twitter at City of Valdosta and subscribe to our YouTube channel Metro 17 Valdosta to watch City Focus on demand. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on City Focus.